Hey, young world, it's your girl Sue Solo, and this is Midday the Sue Solo Way on Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. So I'm talking to the man that, you know, when we first came to America, we identified him as like the first black male talented superstar. I'm talking about New York Undercover, Cool Runnings. But now you are in Atlanta for South Fulton's inaugural Global South Film Festival. Tonight is the closing night. Yes, ma'am. Which makes sense why, you know, you you were part of the closing night. Well, you, you know. You know what I'm saying? They had to save the best for last. That's what they say. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with them people. No, no, no. They, they know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. So as I'm going through, like, the notes and stuff, are you doing real estate now? Uh, yes, ma'am. Can you please explain to us your involvement in tonight's experience? What is the real estate mixtape volume one I build New York. That is very New York of you. Uh, that's very New York. You're the second person to say that today. Very New York. Uh, well, it is. Um, so it's a doc series that uh, we created. Uh, we shot it in 2019, um, which follows my journey pursuing my first development deal in New York. I started in Baltimore um, on the development side in 2008, um, and I was given a seat at the table by a brother named Dan Bythewood, who I actually met on the set of New York on the cover because his cousin Reggie – Bythewood was one of the writers on New York on the cover. So that's a good full circle moment. And um, the short, short story of it is um, I I wanted to find a way to bring three of my passions together, real estate, working with young people, and filmmaking. And so that's the result of it. That is so cool. Yeah. Now, how far do you do you want to take this? Um, as far as God will allow me. This yeah. is, we ride now. We, we my, you know, I'm going to kick the bucket doing yeah. this work. Because at the end of the day, for me, this is really a culmination of all of my life's work. So I started in education when I was 16. I started tutoring little kids. By 19, I was working with a, a group called the City Kids Foundation. By 20, I was working in 13 high schools. So before my career took off in Hollywood, I was this is what work I was doing. I was using art to engage community in themselves, giving young people a voice. And then, of course, the media thing has been 30-plus years, and development's been about 18. So for me, being able to bring all three – my passions together in a very intentional and thoughtful way mm. has transformed not only my life, but the life of the people we serve. I so, love that because you, yeah. you're not allowing yourself to be in a box. You're like, hey, I have multiple passions and yeah. I'm going to build on all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've always done that, but this this is the crystallization of this idea that you can use film because there weren't other developers that were doing that. Like people, it's a very closed game, yeah. right? If you don't come from a family that does it, mm-hmm. if you didn't go to school for it, how the hell are you going to know to do it? Right. Most of us know Maybe I can buy a house and flip a house. But when you think about ground-up development, master development, right in this building, if you go downstairs on that that big screen in your lobby, mm-hmm. they talk, it says master development, mm-hmm. right, connecting the different communities in Atlanta, right, to create this global destination. Well, who's doing that, mm-hmm. right? All the images that come up don't look like us, right? right? And so we have to provide on-ramps for people, and it's not just – like when people think development, they think construction. So a developer is essentially like an executive producer of a film. Okay. An architect's like the screenwriter. The contractor's like, you know, the, the crew, right? And you have the same trades, right? You have electric, you have, you know, um, carpentry, you have design. All of those same transferable skills yeah. from the film business are the same like in, a, in development. And so it's about who's able to hold the vision. Yeah put all the pieces together, right? The different skill sets from the financing, on the political side, mm-hmm. on the engineering side, the construction side, and put it all together to um, to build cities. And right. so um, we'll take it as far as we can. We're taking, it's global, so I'm, I'm, it's only fitting that this is the Global South Film Festival because the work we're doing is global. Um, I, mean, I just love the name of it, the real estate mixtape volume yeah. one. I and that, that name York. came, you know, what? honestly, that that was originally the project was called I Build New York. Right, mm-hmm. I had this vision, shared it with a woman who's now my chief of staff, Leslie Ann Dunn, and she she gave me a deck two days later, said I Build New York. But in my mind, I was making an art film. Mm-hmm. It just happened to be about real estate. Okay. So when I was editing it together, typically if you do a documentary, You're going to shoot, then you're going to transcribe all the audio Mm -hmm. and pull your story from the audio. But what I did was I allowed the feeling to drive it. Mm -hmm. So I might, as I'm, and I edited it, right? So I might take a portion of this and go, you know what? Now I'm going to mix in this bit, mix in this bit. Mm -hmm. And so in the process, I was like, you know what? I felt like a DJ. Mm. Like I'm going to put this shit together in a very artistic kind of way because. Real estate itself could be boring. 
right? But the key was how do you create emotion? Yeah. How do you how do you put something up that people could feel, right? So it's the music, when you choose to use slow motion, how you how much footage you use mm-hmm. about one idea, then you cut to the other ideas so that you can create an energy that can engage people. And so this has been seen by thousands of people, tens of that at this point around the world. I've been in like 51 cities, six countries, screening this all over the world. From, so people are going to have a chance to experience this yeah. right here in Atlanta but tonight. tonight. Tickets right. are free Tickets to free. the public. Mm-hmm. There's a, a, a blue carpet moment that I see. That's what they Yeah, say. blue carpet opens mm-hmm. at 6 p.m. You're mm-hmm. going to be on the carpet? Are you doing With more my blue suit on. I know that's you right, See, that's how I did that? <laughs> See how we did that? I love it, Atlanta. You got to make sure you get out there. So, But can you talk to me a little bit about the podcast? So the podcast, Think Real Estate, is actually not my podcast, but I'm a guest on it tonight. Okay, nice. Um, and it's the inaugural version of it. And, and what I love about it and why I agreed to do it is because, again, uh, Matthew Coleman, that's his name, right? Matthew Coleman? Yep. Um, he has been in, he's been in real estate for a long time, and the mission of this is the same mission of the mixtape, mm-hmm. which is, how do you expose our community to what the hell is going on, yeah. right? Particularly in a world where people could feel displaced and they have no agency in their own in their own cities. And so, um, uh, this is the first time I'll be meeting him tonight, or I guess we do it at four o'clock this afternoon or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's 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 in this. We got the same mission: tell the stories, inspire people, put them on game, and then let them take it from there. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm just so happy I'm making my family jealous right now with this interview. I just, I can't get my head off of it. <laughs> Anyways, Atlanta, make sure you get out there. The South Fulton Inaugural Global South Film Festival. You got to go out and see not only Malik Yoba, but a lot of the other great things that they're doing. Can you tell us, um, can we follow you on social media? How can yeah, we support you? you can follow you? me at, at, at Malik Yoba. At the, only the ones with the blue check, because hmm. for whatever reason, those people that start fake, I don't know what the, <laughs> I don't know who those people are or why they start fake accounts with your pictures. <laughs> But that ain't People me. People want to be you. They want to be like you. That's the craziest. I I, I don't understand that. Like, yeah. who has time to do that? E- everyone's not happy with themselves. I, I, okay, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. But we'll, we're happy tonight at yeah. the film festival. See y'all there, ATL. <laughs> <laughs>